Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey, and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we will be putting, well, not putting in, we'll be getting rid of all of our uh, little errors, tweaks, um, you know, that sort of thing. I will be putting some nice particles so when you die, you'll have some blood coming off, uh, which may be a bit over the top for your liking. It's probably a bit over the top for anyone actually, but you know, I will show you it. Uh, you can fiddle around with it. I'll show you how you can change them, make them look nice, and uh, yeah. So, uh, I did actually say in the last video that I was going to sort out the issue with the attacking, and I've done that. Uh, that's why it took so long. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, quickly go and sort them out. Uh, we're going to our player object, and in our uh, step, we have this class one. Now that was what was stopping the animation from playing here, because this was just constantly every single step of the game, which in this case is one thirtieth of a second. Um, it was actually setting our index back to the class. Which is not right um, at all. No, it's very bad actually. Um. So yeah, if you just comment this out for the minute, um, I may put it back in, but I think at the minute for this sort of level of coding, this beginner sort of thing, I'll probably just leave it out because it would get a bit complicated. We'd have to, um, what would we do? We'd have to, um set it when we create and then uh, yeah it would take a lot of editing our current code you could probably if you're more advanced you can probably do this up, um, on your own computer so actually yes yeah, so that's the first thing the second thing if we're going to our enemy and the collision with a player um, this is the other place it was going wrong so I've already added this in here so all you need to do is put and and which stands for and uh, the floor, which is basically rounding this down to a whole number. So, and the floor of our in our image index, so uh, how many, well, which image we're on at the minute in the animation, equals one. So basically, we will only be attacking once. Also, here. Um, this probably isn't the best way of doing it, but I found this worked um, and it's quite simple. So you can put this in. So var hhp. I just didn't want to put hp because that's already a thing. You can put that to whatever you want. Equals the attack minus the defense. Uh, before we had this as hp minus equals uh, this. But what I found is you have to divide it by the amount of images you have. Uh, otherwise it attacks for every single image and it takes away three so now we should be able to actually go into this and we should be able to actually attack our enemies now um, and if it works we can go on to our particles which should be absolutely fabulous <laughs> uh, so right let's load the game here can we swing our sword yes we can can we attack it yes see this is our enemies um, HP, I put it up here just for visual displays, and there we go. So, yes, we have sorted out our attacking. Woo! Uh, massive, massively pleased with that. Because that was uh, something I t spent a lot of time on. Um, right, also what I did spend time doing is um, actually uh, replying to you guys' emails. Because I got quite a few emails last week um, about, you know, coding... Uh, other tutorials, um, uh, you know, general questions, anything, you can send me an email, post in the comments, I'll be happy to answer, because I'm uh, not a massive YouTuber, um, you know, I have time to actually read all your comments and appreciate all of them, which uh, s some bigger YouTubers will find it hard to do. So, right, okay. We are going to create an object PS, and PS stands for Particle System. And uh, so this is what we're going to put our particles in. Well, this is what we're going to initiate particles in. 
Um, and then basically when we've used this object, we can put whatever particles we want into it. And uh, it means it would be super cool if you want like a magic game, you can have like particles all shooting off your players and just going everywhere and crazy. You know, whatever. So, right, create. Let's make a create event. Drag over some code. And what we're going to call this? We're going to be called Make the Particle System. Woohoo. Particles are absolutely cool. They are the bestest thing in the world. Right, so we're going to call it Global PS. That's going to be our particle system. That's what it's going to be called. And this is what we use for particle system stuff. We actually put the name and then we put equals and uh, for this case it's going to be system create uh, so yeah particles oh my mic just popped then I should hopefully be getting a new mic soon as well so you won't be able you won't have to hear this annoying popping so particle systems they're really easy um, and they look, make your game look uh, pretty cool so right that's made our system there. So what else are we gonna do? Uh oh we've forgotten something. Um no that'll be it for the minute. Uh right. Okay. Um Yeah that's pretty much it for the particle system at the minute. Now what we're gonna do is actually create our particles. So it's gonna be called script part which stands for particles and we're gonna do blood. Okay. Um right, so this is our script in which we're gonna initiate the blood. So we're gonna make the particles. This is not gonna put them in your game. Uh, make a note of that. Actually we're gonna we're gonna put that in, okay? We are going to put that in. So not making the particles. So this, we're not m creating the particles at all. No, no way. What we are doing is initiating them so they're ready to use in the future. Right, so what we're going to do, initialize the global particles. Uh, ignore my spelling, I don't know if it's right or not. So we're going to call it global dot pt blood. And uh, PT stands for part type. So this is going to be our blurred one. And it's going to be part type create. So exactly the same as the system. We're giving it a name and then we're creating it. Um, got an itchy nose. Sorry. Right, okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a temporary variable. So it's going to be called var B. B stands for blood. Um, basically, so we don't have to keep typing global dot pt underscore blood, blood. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Okay. Um. So yeah, that will make it a lot easier. So now we can just go b instead of having to type uh, all of this out here. Right. So what are we going to do then? We are going to give our particles. Oops. Particles. Uh, some settings. Let's just say that. Uh, right. So there is tons and tons and tons of settings you can give to it. Um, you can look at them all by just. Ah, I'm dying here. Sorry. Just let me die quietly. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots of different settings. If you just put part type like this, you can uh, actually view all of them. Here, so yep, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of them you can put in, and they're all different settings for our particles. But um, I'm going to do some pretty basic ones here. So shape is uh, definitely what you should start with because uh, it sets the la It sets the shape. Uh, okay. So oops, it's PT shape. Hmm, what shape should we make it? Um. I think smoke actually might be quite cool. I don't know, I haven't tested it. You can play around with these, obviously, yourself. Uh, it's something that really is nothing to do with coding, really. 
and uh, is more really to do with um, how you interpret it and how you want it to look. Uh, right, so part type size. So we're going to have B, which is our uh, uh, particles itself. And what I did here was 0 0.05, 0 0.05 even. We'll give that a go. On mine it was quite big. Um, but I haven't done the smoke before, so, you know, whatever. We're not going to have an increase, and we're not going to have a wiggle. Oops, wrong one. I don't, um, what does a wiggle do? I think wiggle changes size a little bit. I don't know. You can play around with it. Um, I tried doing a wiggle on mine, and it, it didn't really work very well. On blood, it doesn't work. I don't know. So, we're going to have two colours in it. Um, um, blood, that's our main particle. So, we're going to have uh, sea red and sea maroon. They're both quite bloody colours, I think. Yeah, they're kind of red. Um, red's obviously red. Oh, my word. I don't even know what this morning, afternoon, whatever, whatever country you're in, whatever time it is, I don't know. Um, it's two o'clock here. Speed, right? B. Uh, speed minimum. Uh, what we're gonna set this as? Um, two. That's it. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, scroll through all my example stuff that I've got out here. So the maximum speed we're going to have is 5 and um, what we're going to increase it by. Um, oh, we are going to increase it by negative mm, 0.1 so the blood's going to get smaller I think. We'll see in a minute. And we're not going to have a wiggle again because obviously wiggles look weird. So again, part, type, and what we're going to have now. We are going to have direction. Cool, direction. Direction's cool. You need direction don't have a direction you've really gone wrong because it makes it like splurge out it's not even a word splurge oh well <laughs> carry on uh, direction minimum uh, let's have zero and 360 because we want it to do like a full 360 coming out of our player blood splurge I'm gonna go with splurge splurge sounds cool direction increase we're gonna have zero and we're not gonna have a wiggle either um, okay, we're almost there now, guys. Almost there. I've been trying to make this as fun as possible, but again, it is just mindless writing out of stuff and numbers. Numbers are cool, though. Yeah, don't diss those numbers. Right, so now we have uh, B. We have point 0.2 as the gravity amount. Um, so I think this is how it's going to fall down, sort of thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, so the direction. So it's going to sort of come down like in gravity would. We maybe don't want that, but we will see how it looks. I don't. I really do not have a clue what this is going to look like, uh, but we'll see when we actually do it. So we're going to have 25 particle ticks, whatever they're called. Um, party ticks, cool. We're going to, we're going to call them that. 25 party ticks. Right, so that is uh, the initializing of the particles. Now we can actually go in. Uh, when we come here, we can uh, initialize all the particles. Our lovely particles should be coming to life. Right, so. All we need to do now is we can just do the part blood. blood. And there we go. That is pretty much done. One last thing. Though. This is the most important thing in the whole video. If you listen to nothing in the video, then this is totally irrelevant. But this is very important if you've watched the rest of the video, you see. Because what we are going to do is game end so game end I repeat game end I'm gonna drag over some code okay uh, basically what we're gonna do is destroy it uh, if you do not destroy our particle system when the game ends 
you ha you get something called a memory leak and they are bad very bad basically it causes um your game to eat up memory uh, and eventually probably crash uh, and you do not want that to happen it is bad so just do this and you will be fine so we're going to destroy the particles oops I'm a bit scared because my uh, keyboards on my laptop is actually pressing inwards when I press these keys which isn't meant to happen anyway global dot pt blur oops I'm reading off the wrong bit now <laughs> part type destroy I knew that uh, global dot pt blood and then part system destroy global dot bs that's it so basically what we're doing is destroying our particles and we're then we're destroying the system the particle system so now we can actually give these particles to our player so when we uh, die uh, in our step event and uh, are allowed to play the blah, blah, allow the player to move we have this bit here the are we dead yet check we can put uh, the create some particles uh, and here what we do is part particles I think yep create uh, and they are called global.pt blood uh, no wait wrong one global.ps they're the that's the particle system that it's in uh, our x our y global.pt blood and we're gonna make 10 of these lovely particles so now if we go and die um, we should create some lovely particles I do not know what they're going to look like though um, so we'll see I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, if this works um, yeah I'll do a quick um, bit on uh, death screens you know that probably w w the next video we're going to do animation oh dear right so we've got an error here I know why we've got the error I'm so derpy sometimes we forgot to put the particle system in the room right so if we go and put the particle system in the room and then we give it a go um I've completely forgotten what I was talking about I was probably just blabbing on about something but yeah oh yeah yeah I'm not blabbering on about anything no in the next video uh, will be my last video on this series uh, at which point I'm going to be going on to some beautiful sandboxing which no other youtuber uh, that I know of has done so look out for that uh, there we go look at that that was beautiful absolutely beautiful uh, only thing is we still have our player and we are still going down on HP um, so what we're we gonna do when um, we die uh, we need to destroy ourselves but those particles looked awesome don't you think oops so yeah next video will be my last video on this um, on this series because it's starting to get messy you know it's starting to get not beginner level sort of thing it's getting more advanced uh, the sandbox tutorial will definitely be advanced um, doing DS grids you know for loops um, a lot of advanced stuff and I'll probably be getting out some more shorts as well so my next one will definitely be on DS grids so if you don't understand um, DS grids and for loops and stuff uh, I can explain them to you and then you can go on and, and do the advanced tutorials with me because um, I would love the support really so instance destroy basically I've just yeah I made a big speech out of that instance destroy right so now if we play it uh, we should well we should as soon as we die we'll split out this blood and then we won't exist anymore because we don't want to still be there after we've died that wouldn't be right so now if we uh, go and die uh, the weirdest conversation ever I'm talking to myself about dying. 
Wow. <laughs> well, I'm not... Okay, uh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, here comes the errors. Right, so we've... Removed ourselves. And... Something's gone wrong. With... Our player, so... In our enemy attack, on line 2... Um, we're trying to move towards a point which doesn't exist. So what we probably want to do is actually go into the uh, enemy attack and put an if statement in. If instance exists, object player. So only if we exist as a player will we uh, chase it. Otherwise, we're chasing something that doesn't exist, and that's why it chucked up the error. So, um, yeah, I probably will not be able to go on to death screens or anything like that. Um, but I will probably just quickly do a quick sprite so um, that when we actually do die, we can have a little grave sprite. Uh, so, yeah, upcoming tutorial. Um, remember to look out for it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've been preparing for quite a few weeks now and we've still got more errors. Okay, so in the step event for the enemy. So now we're gonna we're gonna just keep going through and uh putting these if statements in. So uh actually let's just do this whole thing. If instance exists actually no 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 no. Okay. Um here if instance exists object player then we're going to move this all along and then close it off but um, if the player doesn't exist we can put an else statement in and we still want it to wander around like it looks like he's really happy with himself and uh, yeah so we can just put that and now, hopefully, this should work. Um, if not, we can always just uh, swap the uh, sprite, uh, I guess, and fiddle around it that way. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how long this video is. I really need to set up a timer or something so I can limit my videos to uh, like 20 minutes or something. Because otherwise. And, oh, look at that. That was beautiful, do you think? So beautiful. And he's just wandered off. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to guess when I started this. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it quickly. Um, it might be a slightly long video, guys, but um, that's why. This is why. So, we're going to call it Sprite Grave. Edit Sprite. Uh, it's going to be 32 by 32. What we're going to do is we're going to get like a nice grey colour. It's quite dark. Grey. We'll get our... Um, and we'll just... Kind of do this. And then kind of along. Kind of like that. That'll do. Um... As I say, I'm not the greatest artist in the world. Um, if I am creating a, a game, uh, when it comes to the uh, creative stages, I will often ask for artists. But yeah, uh, for these tutorials, I do unfortunately have to do the artwork, so I officially apologise for this awful artwork. Um, let's see, there, right, so, uh, here's our little graveyard, here's our grave, it is a bit rubbish, but it'll do, so in our player, come into our step, allow the player to move, really need to change that name, and, uh, after the instant destroy, we're going to draw, sprite, um sprite 
grave. Zero. Hmm. Got an issue now. We've got to set some X and Y ones. So actually, what we can do before the instance destroy is we can uh, save the X and Y coordinates. X var Y Y equals Y. So that will just save them so that we can uh, use them here because we've actually destroyed it here, so there won't be any coordinates anymore. So this is where it was. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's give this a go. I'm trying to do that really quickly. So if you didn't get that, uh, you can pause it. You know, um, don't, feel free to comment on uh, any suggestions, errors. You know, general comments, general coding, whatever. I will be happy to help. I. Uh, it's why I do YouTube videos, is to help people. I enjoy doing it, so, you know, uh, whatever. Hmm, so, yes, it, it hasn't done it there. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on this. Oh, I know why, yeah. Um, okay. Put this just above the instance destroy because um, it can't create something from a non-existent object can it um, so if it's trying to create a sprite in this case from our player object but we've got rid of the object so therefore it's creating it from a non-existent object which is impossible it's like me you know trying to lift up a gun and shoot someone when I'm dead myself it wouldn't work. You know, it wouldn't be fair in, in life, would it? Okay, it's still not working. Um, hmm, yeah, well. You know, I'll just leave that for now. Uh, I'll probably maybe sort it out for the next one. It's not necessary, you know. You guys can probably figure it out yourself. It's just I, I've done that bit off the top of my head and it's not worked, you know. It happens, so. Yeah, uh, remember to look out for my uh, next tutorial on this. Uh, it should be quite soon, actually. Because I'm trying to move on as quick as possible onto my sandbox, which you should also look out for. Uh, so remember to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, comment with any general comments or whatever you want, really. Uh, and I will talk to you later.